My name is Marnie, and from here on out, I'm going to be your very own personal wing girl. It's my job to give you the no BS, honest truth about what women want versus what they say they want. And I put up new videos every week, typically on Tuesdays, so keep an eye out for my videos. In this video, I'm going to tell you the one thing every man needs if he wants to date the hottest, most amazing women ever. It's something that all women pay close attention to when selecting the men they want to spend time with. And if you don't have this thing, then it will make your dating life 10 times harder harder for you. And if you do have this one thing, life in general will seem easier and more enjoyable. So keep watching so you can find out what this one thing is. I want to share something with you today that can make dating so much easier as well as a lot more fun. Yet it's something that I see many guys completely neglecting for some reason. What I'm talking about is having a social circle that helps you meet and date women as well as acting as a support network. As women, this is something we know instinctively. When we're single, we'll have our friends introduce us to guys. We'll also go out with our friends to social events specifically looking to meet men. We also turn to our social circle to discuss our dating lives, getting help and feedback. And by having this network support to meet and date guys as well as talk about what's on our mind and give advice, it helps a lot. But a lot of men don't use this the same way we do to their advantage. They instead prefer the lone wolf approach where they do everything by themselves. That could mean going out to a bar and sitting by themselves in the corner and hoping they'll meet the woman of their dreams. Or it means creating accounts on Tinder and other dating apps, spending hours by themselves swiping right on every profile. And when they have questions or challenges about something in their dating life, they try to figure it out on their own. Like, what do I say to this girl? It's all by themselves. Now, obviously, I'd recommend you seek help from myself and the Wing Girl team to help level up your dating success. However, in addition to that, having a great social circle will benefit you in so many ways. You'll get invited to more things, events, parties, hangouts, where it's easier to meet women than in bars or clubs or classes, that's because you'll have mutual friends and it's normal that you'll get introduced to women there. You can then think of this as a warm approach versus a standard cold approach where you start a conversation with a complete stranger. With a warm approach, women will usually give you the benefit of the doubt right from the start and vice versa. Because someone in our or your social circle has already vouched for you, we don't have that same concern that you could be a total creep or weirdo like we might otherwise think. Plus, when you've got other people around you, it instantly makes you seem more popular and attractive, whereas the lone wolf seems like he has no friends, which does nothing to boost his attractiveness to us. You also won't have nearly as much fun going out by yourself than if you were surrounded with awesome people to talk to and joke around with, which makes you look good to women. My suggestion is to cultivate a social circle full of both men and women. That's because you'll get more benefits and a different perspective from having plenty of friends from both genders. For example, women will tend to have more close girlfriends they can set you up with, whereas a guy who's also single and good with women can be great for going out and meeting women together. Your wingman. Now, one of the questions people have is how to find and develop their social circle. And while this subject can be an entire book, here are the few main things that I would suggest you do. Whether you're 20, 50, newly divorced, the third wheel for all your coupled friends, here are a few things you can do to get active in activating your social life. All of these things require you to take the lead on your own, which on its own is a super attractive trait to women, which I've talked about a million times. So with doing this, you're actually getting a dual benefit. So you're welcome. <laughs> Learning to take the lead and make something out of nothing. And then also getting a freaking amazing social life that not only helps you meet more women, but attracts women to you because you're the guy that has cool stuff going on. There's nothing sexier than a guy with a life. So here are three things you can do right now to get a social life that will help you meet women and give you a life that women want to be a part of. Number one, find groups, events, and activities in your area. Get your butt onto Google and start searching for events, groups, and classes in any areas of interest for you. You like cooking, you like cars, you like video games, great. Find groups that also like these things and hang out with them. It's 2019 and there are so many subcultures of groups that exist, you just gotta find them. If you wanna go one step further and ensure you find other singles, 
type the word singles beside the area of interest and see what pops up. Then schedule two to three things per week to do and try. Then go. And this is the hardest part. As we get older or busier, we can tend to make excuses to sit in our butts and be lazy. And I do it too, so I get it. But here, there are no excuses. You gotta go no matter what. Even if you hate it, it's a story and a conversation that you can have later. Oh my God, I tried going to this old school Mario Brothers competition and it was just awful. Guys in mushroom caps everywhere. Horrible, but so funny. You can make it fun. Okay, number two. Join existing communities. This is the best way to build a social circle because communities are built in social circles of people who like, love, and believe in the same things as you do. Communities are different than groups and events. There are so many communities out there. You just gotta find them. Again, this is you taking the lead and doing a little bit of research. So some examples for communities are CrossFit, religious groups, uh, spiritual communities, festival communities, literature communities, video game communities, science communities. I mean, it's endless. There are so many options. If you're into something, there is certainly a community for it. Find, join, contribute. And you'll be part of it. Number three, start your own community. Let's say you can't find a community that you like, start your own. You can start by inviting people from work, let's say, out for drinks or food and build up friendships from there because you spend nearly 75% of your life with colleagues, so why not get to know them and hang out with them outside of your work? Many of them may be fun or have single friends, but you don't know any of that until you hang out with them outside of work and they can be a little bit more free. So organize a weekly hangout after work. Hey guys, let's start a Wednesday happy hour at Moe's. First round is on me. You can also get onto Nextdoor or some other local website that reaches out to neighbors and start something on there. So I recently moved to a new area and I immediately thought, what can I start in this neighborhood that doesn't exist? It'll help me meet people and I'll actually enjoy myself. Wine nights. As women on my street walked by my house, I would flag them down and ask them if they wanted to be part of the street's ladies' wine night, which didn't exist at that time. And I quickly got a group of 10 women together and we now have a monthly wine night. And now I know everything about the neighbors. Creating your own community is the ultimate sign of leadership. Plus, when you're the guy in charge, the guy who holds the keys in the community, women will automatically be drawn to you and find you more attractive. And remember, even though this advice is for building social circles and getting you more active in your own life, it has the wonderful side effect of broadening your searching circle for opportunities to meet new amazing women and they're gonna be presented to you way more often. It will come through new friends, people in the group, a dude you met at last month's poker night who has a freaking hot sister. Having a social circle and a life will help you meet more women and improve your dating life. Building a social circle that women are drawn to is just one of the many things you can do to bring more beautiful, quality women into your life. I put together a free 45 minute video that tells you exactly how to capitalize on this newfound social circle you're about to create and show women you're more than just a guy with a fun life. Just click the link below in the description box or go to winggirlmethod.com and I will show you the video right now. Remember, finding the right girl doesn't have to be hard when you understand what women really want. Let me be your wing girl. Go watch my free 45 minute video by going to winggirlmethod.com and I will see you next week.